Good day, we are Ryzen. Why we pursue this venture? Our team come up with this idea to develop a solution to mitigate casualties from natural disaster, which is an earthquake. We wanted citizens to be at least prepared and have an ends up before an, an earthquake strikes. Before we dive deeper into our venture, I want to properly introduce our team members. The team is composed of excellent people who are able to operate despite having diverse talents. The abilities that we have are what makes us a good team. I have the state that working with my team of skilled individuals is the result for making this venture happen. What does our venture do? Our venture is a piezoelectric earthquake sensor that detects underground vibrations. Based on the detected intensity, it will automatically alarm and alert citizens even before the vibration is felt above ground. How our venture solves the problem and how it makes profit? Our venture mitigates casualties by alerting citizens before an earthquake is felt above ground, since the current system alerts citizens after an earthquake. It solves the problem of severe casualties caused by panic or unpreparedness. Our venture gains profit by selling the product itself through fees from installation and also from technical consultations. Good day. My name is Aaron Carl D. Sumayo, CTO or Chief Technical Officer of Risa, and I will discuss about our lean canvas. For our problem statement, since the Philippines where we live in is very vulnerable to earthquake due to its geological location, in which our problem is that the infrastructure is also prone to earthquake. We also come up that the earthquake detection system is lacking to generate data for the public use. In our unique value propositions, it is to utilize an auditory alert generated from privations of varied intensities underneath the soil. Our product technology raised awareness among all the members of the community. In such, the unfair advantages of our product is it can recognize some potential quakes and it also has a large coverage of alarm. For our customer segment, local government is our main focus to lead its barangay. For the existing alternatives of the product would be the Pivox since they oversees the earthquake and, and the another is and message through mobile will be disseminated to people when an earthquake has been ended. For the key metrics, the product is still not available in the market. For the channel, firstly, introduced to barangays, next, connecting interest from the resident, next, credibility building, next, introducing to local government, and lastly, proposing to national government. For the, co for the cost of the structure for the product, it ranges from 50,000 pesos to 100,000 pesos. Maintenance fee starts at 10,000 pesos. Lastly, for the revenue structure, the product, the maintenance, and installation would be put in. Good day, I am Arvin Felizarta, the Chief Operating Officer of Ryzen, and I will be the one discussing Ryzen's business model. This is our company's plan for making a profit. First, the revenue that will come from the product itself and the installation in each barangay. Secondly, the maintenance ensuring the efficient operation of the product and equipment. Lastly, in consultation, our company offers training for the personnel who will operate the system. Next is the competition analysis. There will be three types of competitors in our business. First, direct competitors, which offer products or services that are essentially the same with us. Another is indirect competitors who produce different products but the same market. Lastly, the secondary competitors who offer a variation of our product, but at the high or low end of the version. So good day, everyone. I am Thomas Jan Valbuena, the Chief Marketing Officer of Verizon. So for our solution, due to the fact that earthquakes are naturally occurring phenomenon, we are unable to prevent or stop them from happening. By having audio alarms in various places that the piezoelectric sensor covers, we will be able to provide a wide range of alertness. This is what we have intended to do in order to produce a device that would provide alertness, particularly in the event of an earthquake. With the aforementioned approach, clients are better informed and able to plan ahead of time or brace for a disaster. The details of our offering consist of number one, a chief alternative for existing devices. Number two, alert system that is audible in whole barangay. Number three, the device is divided into three sensitivities. Sensitivity 1 for magnitude 4 to 5, sensitivity 2 for magnitude 6 to 7, 
and the last sensitivity is number three for magnitude eight and above. The benefits of our solution is number one, senses potential earthquakes and alarms residents before the vibration is felt above. Number two, centralized alarm speakers for the whole barangay. Number three, it gives citizens a couple of seconds to be at least mentally prepared before an earthquake is felt above ground. Hi, I am Dan Brantoni Peñorubia, the CFO of the team. Our prototype has a alarm system that is audible in the area for awareness in their environment. Also, it, it has a wide-range seismic detector with the use of piezoelectric device, and it will help the people to lessen the casualties since our product can detect specific vibrations, especially the waves of earthquake. Our minimum variable product will be tested in six months, and the target test will be 10 to 20 members of LGU, and 100 to 150 citizens in the barangay. By this, we can get the audience by conducting public consultations and demonstration in the community. Our conclusion is to perse persevere this product as what we, we have planned. Among 26 respondents, 96% said that they will consider buying the product and also they are interested in the product. Also, the price of the product, majority of the respondents answered that they will that they prefer 51 to 60,000 pesos and they want to recommend the product. The majority of the respondents says that the product is effective. The realization of our team is that the people are willing to suggest this product to others in order for it to expand its network. And the next step of the team will be our agenda is, is to est establish our credibility in order to convince local government units to include in their projects and ensure that it is soon made available across the entire nation. In order to start the business, our team has come up with its following costs. Our overall initial budget for the project is 1,125,000 pesos. This budget includes the budget expenses incurred during the process of creating this venture, like the startup costs, capital works, and starting operations. We've allotted 800,068 pesos for starting the business. It includes expenses for permits, product development, website-related expenses, and office expenses like rents. For the for forecast and PNL, in the span of one year, the results of the business are as follows. The company had a total sale of 5,400,000 pesos, a gross profit of 3,600,000 pesos, total expenses of 2,424,000 pesos. For the net profit loss, it has a total of 1,176,000 pesos, the company had a total of 67% for gross profit margin, and lastly, net profit margin is equal to 22%. Uh, so we have here the forecast cash flow here in the starting position for the January. Uh, we have 895,000, uh, and for the February, we have 830,000. As we can see, for the cash flows of total sales in January, we have a 1, uh, 180,000, and for the February, is 300,000. Uh, we can see that from the January to December, the cash flows total sales is, is increasing. Uh, for the cash flows, uh, for the cash outflows, uh, here we have the cash of, uh, cost of goods sold. We have 60,140, 160,000. And for the operating expenses, here we can see that the, from January to April, th there is a constant, uh, nothing changed for the value of 185,000. And each total, for the total of each uh, month, uh, we can see that the products from January to December is, is we can say that the product is uh, good in the market. Here in the result, we have here from starting from January to December, the product has a good uh, closing cash position, which is good for the market. And next, forecast balance sheet. For the forecast balance sheet, for the assets of the product, we have that. Uh, two million four hundred fifty-three thousand, and for the liabilities we have two million three hundred twenty-two six hundred sixty-six, and we have for the network of the promoters we have one million eight hundred one thousand, and for the uh, break-even analysis we can see that uh for the fixed cost of the year we have two million four hundred twenty-four thousand, and we can see for the gross margin percent uh, percentage sales uh we can see that the gross margin has a 66.67%, which is good for the uh, the market. And we since uh, we can see that the operating expenses for the gross market, uh, we have 2,424,000. And 
Here we can see the yearly break-even amount of 3,636,000 and for the monthly break-even amount is 300,000. Next. As for our financial projection, it shows that the within the five years, which shows that year, from year one to year five, it shows that the number of existing existing shares is all is about hundred one hundred thousand, and uh amount to be invested is around twenty million pesos. As for our earning after five years, it costs five million pesos. Our estimated terminal value is one hundred six million seven hundred eighty five thousand pesos. For our present value is two million thirty four thousand pesos. As for our unit economics, the P it shows the PNL unit for the year twenty twenty two. For our unit economics in the year two thousand twenty two, our CAC or the cost of sales plus cost of margin over the number of new customer acquired is six thousand six hundred sixty six point sixty seven pesos. For our CLB is cost around seventy two thousand pesos. And our ARPU is cost of around 60,000 pesos. So for our sales plan, the customer sales funnel, with a total number of 42,109 barangays as our total market, it will lead us to 25,253 barangays and having a 4,033 opportunities or prospect barangays. It will lead us to a total number of 90 customers. So for the customer acquisition plan, our target customer segment is broken into three geographic locations, the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So our target customer segment for each geographic location are measured in barangay. So for Luzon, 20,581 barangays. For Visayas, 11,444 barangays. For Mindanao, 10,084 barangays. Channels to be used to attract the target customer segments. We will be utilizing different channels such as online geographics, public consultations, and the RRMC, and utilize different social media platforms. So for the estimate number of leads, for Luzon, there are 12,626 barangays. For Visayas, there are 7,575 barangays. For Mindanao, there are 5,050 barangays. The estimated cost to convert these leads to actual customers is for Luzon, 180,000 pesos, for Visayas, 108,000 pesos, and for Mindanao, 72,000 pesos. Now that we have finished this, discussing the sales plan, I'll be showing you our company's personal website. You'll see information about us, such as the history of our business, founders, and products we are focusing to. Proceeding to the next panel, which is the tab for the specific product we are sell that we are selling the piezoelectric sensor in this panel you will see details of our product such as its application key features and how we differ from others also we have included the necessary information that we have accomplished for instance the units that we have sold the residents benefited on our product and how we pr promote this product to various known exposition. This is Ryzen, always aware, always prepared. To contact us, potential customers may use accessible information provided at the end of our website. And that's all for the presentation of our web website. Uh, here uh, for the funding uh, plan and projections, for the funding needed for and uh, for the current quality capital of founders, we have here for the market expansion product development for the next five years, future fundraise, we have a series F from the Permira funds. The company assures the customers that the team is committed to delivered quality products and services. Thank you. And again, this is Ryzen.